Hey guys, welcome back to another scooter video, and today I wanted to talk about my modified Razer E300 that I built. So this build was basically going to be all surrounded on 48 volts, and what I did was I ordered a 48 volt 12 amp hour lithium ion battery pack. And so what I did was, on the inside, I'll show some pictures. I'm not going to be able to take it apart right now, but I will later. Here, I got this 5 battery bar throttle with the key switch and the other grip setup with a 1000 watt controller on board that is hooked up to the battery and which hooks up to the motor. Now the motor is still a 24 volt rated 350 watt motor, but I ordered the 1000 watt because I knew that it was going to have some extra wattage since it's being doubled the voltage. So there's a chance that it, once you start going uphill, you know, it could probably reach around like 700 watts or so if you really pushed it. So I wanted extra room for power on that. Now, the motor, it's not really the most powerful, but if I put a bigger motor on it, it might drain the battery more. So I'm going to do that later on, but it actually does very good. I, I just charged it last night and uh, I haven't rode it while it was fully charged before and I made like my own mini turn signals too, which is pretty cool. I'm turn those off for now. That's just for night riding. Now, basically when you turn the key switch and you see the lights, it was only down to yellow and how amazing lithium batteries are. This thing was still flying around 25 miles an hour at that rate. So... That's what I just love about lithium because not only am I having twice the voltage inside the deck, but I also am able to basically get full speed and power all the way to like the very last bar, which is kind of nice. I mean, it does kind of decrease in acceleration by yellow, but I mean, look how many others you have. Like, that's completely fine. So each bar is 20%. So this would be 180, 60, 40, 20. So around 40% I'll still go in full, which is very nice. Um, then right here I mounted on this camera mount. But I do have a chest strap for my GoPro here. So I'm going to be using that to record a little bit. And I might test that one out. I'm just not really sure yet. Down here I have a brand new tire I installed so it looks really nice and sleek. It's almost as, well, the front one has lost a little bit of just a tiny bit of tread. Not really the tread, but mainly just the little points right here came off just because I've had the scooter for two years. But the front one is in actually pretty good condition, and the rear is brand new because the old one was very worn out. Like, there was no tread almost, and it was about to become pretty much a slick, so I decided to just order a new one. It was only $19.99, so made it very perfect i also made the rear brake manual because the original cable i lost the parts to it a long time ago because over the winter for some reason i think it got left outside and the water just like rusted up the chamber piece that originally goes and mounts on to here with the spring and then the cable got like froze up and everything and I found new parts and everything, and I just didn't feel like messing with it because it kept wanting to come out and stuff. So I decided just to save a little money. It's also kind of safer. I just welded a long time ago this piece here. And I do need to re like kind of straighten this out. It's real bent and everything. I need to make it look nice, but it's welded. So this thing ain't ever coming off, and it's physical breaks. You can make it break all the way down if you want to, then all the way up. So you just kick it back just like original kick scooter where you have the one that's friction on the wheel but this one is a drum brake so yeah it looks pretty weird but trust me this thing will stop if you push on it it will not go once you push that so that's pretty nice uh do need to kind of reinforce this motor wire i might zip tie it right here so it's kind of hanging down but i mean that shouldn't be too much of a nuisance uh kickstand i had to take a razor mx350 stand because the original one the little teeth points that come out to hold the spring under there broke on the old one because i hit the side of a curb on it 
like two years ago. I can't remember how. But then I just sawed off one of these because I've had like three MX 350s from the trash over the years that I've found. So I just cut it off and pretty soon I'm going to try to find like a little bike rubber piece to put on there to make it look good. Probably red color. And that would be pretty nice too. And then another thing I did was the plate here. Originally there was grip tape. What I did was the grip tapes on these always get dirty. Like dusty and everything. You can't really clean it. So I decided to make it look a little bit more sleek and I just painted the whole thing red like all around the edges and everything. So once I painted it, I waited a couple days and then I took a little box cutter or sticker peeler and stuck it under the edges and peeled off the grip tape. And I had no idea it really did that until after I did. And I peeled it off and then it gave it this really nice gray mixed with the red outline color. And this matches the sprocket I painted because I painted the sprocket red. It is a little dirty from grease, but I mean, when you put it out in the sun, it does look pretty cool. So that's a really nice plus. Um, I haven't done a mileage test on this yet, but I mean, a 12 amp hour 48 volt pack is very good for an electric scooter. I will tell you, when you put a draw on the battery, it stays full and everything, and it's very twerky. So let's go for a little test ride. 